For my new technology analysis, I chose to research computer-generated and electronic music. This new development has grown so far as to establish musical artists that's only form of musical talent involves a computer or a synthesizer. There are various techniques that people use today to create this music, and I will show various examples of different types of electronic music and how it has shaped the way society views music today. Live concerts have become one person standing on stage with a table of equipment. You are unable to see the amount of skill that actually goes into producing this music live. Whereas at a different type of concert, which holds multiple people singing and playing various instruments, you are able to see the skills that go into producing a live performance. Ableton works you can everyone uses Ableton differently but um, the way I use it is that uh, vertically are different instruments mm -hmm. so, so each it, one of these is a different instrument so it's sort of like the program provides it for you it's like Photoshop in a way where it provides you with the tools and then you create what yeah you want to make yeah with it. Um, they provide you with a lot of sounds and samples and different mm -hmm banks and libraries, but they're literally, like I would refer to them as instruments. Like you open up something like this into this specific instrument called FME. Mm -hmm. um, and of course that's not actually part of the song right there, <laughs> but, um, oh yeah it is. Um, but they give you this and then you sit here and literally create the instrument on this electronically so it's not like everyone has the same sounding instruments it's like you can make your own unique things and change them and morph them into mm -hmm. uh, pretty much whatever you want but um do you consider this easy to learn for most people doesn't seem it doesn't it seem depends easy. <laughs> it could be super like it's, it's not like garage band or right something right something like that it's kind of like the grown-up garage band i'm i'm an engineer at heart and so stuff like this and mixing stuff is what I'm familiar with. But um, when I look at this stuff and I'm like, oh, okay, you have these tracks going this way. You have different, um, what am I trying to say? Is it kind of like, like a collage, clips? like things are just sort of scattered? 
it, it might look that way to you, but like for me, I, I look down at this and I see like uh, intro, verse, pre-chorus, bridge, like mm. like that sort of thing, like when you look down or like um, it's, it's drop. Not, it's not like the whatever. same as like writing. No. It, Ableton is set up as a MIDI program. It's set up as a MIDI kind of home base. And other things like this, this set of pads over here, the keyboard and random pedals that are around here control this program. The pro these don't do anything by themselves, yeah. and they're just like aids to this. Like what these do are send a signal into the computer, and then the computer sends that signal out as an instrument. Mm -hmm. So like it's this is just a number. And it's like, if you set the instrument in there to the same number, it's gonna make it sound like. You consider this to be quote unquote real music as opposed to like, you know, playing with your guitar on its own or, you know, playing an actual piano. Do you consider this to be real music? Just Absolutely. In a new form? I do actually. Um, there's like, ever since Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, which has nothing to do with this sort of music, or even a little before then, people were using electronic music and using what they call sequencer sequencers. Mm -hmm. And um, it's basically like, let's put in a crap load of notes and then have it play it really fast because no one can actually physically play that like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it gets into the whole copyright issue where people are like, well, it's, is that really your music? Because yeah. you, you um, you didn't necessarily write it, but you created it at the same time. Oh, like it's just a new culture. It's just a completely new thing. Like, it's it's awesome for me because it's just like it's almost unlimited instruments. It's like everyone can sound different mm -hmm. if they try. I mean, they could all sound the same, but it's it's crazy to me because instead of just having drums, bass, guitar, and vocals, or keyboards and vocals or something, it's just like whatever you want and yeah. now we have like people listening to music dubstep is just like uh kind of sequenced in time robot noises yeah you know? exactly. like it's not it's really weird. like but it's awesome and it makes sense in your mind mm -hmm. when you listen to it um, like you listen to it and you think it sounds really good but no one technically thinks how was this made <laughs> As you can see, electronic music has turned into a party scene. DJs and musical engineers create a music completely based of melodies that can extract a different kind of vibe. Is this music pure, although? Hertz claims that new technologies can create a new space for new sounds. This new art has also become very political for particular artists. Greg Gillis, better known as his DJ name, Girl Talk, has become extremely well known for his techniques of combining various songs into one simple mashup. He incorporates digital sampling to mix together artists such as Ludacris, Black Sabbath, MIA, and other various funk sounds. So I think like the idea of intellectual property that we hold right now is just, you know, the way we understand 2008. And as everyone becomes you know, more involved with computers and the processes become easier to do remixes. Everyone's gonna start doing the remixes and I think it's just gonna become so commonplace that people's like general attitude toward it is gonna shift over time. So hopefully we're at the forefront of, you know, different ways of because I mean Kings of Leon are playing right now, you know, clearly they borrow some like classic rock elements from the past, but no one's like pointing the finger at them to be like, we're gonna sue you over this because you're influenced by Creedence Clearwater revival, you, you know? 
maybe in the past it would have been at some point in time. It's like, you know, maybe down the road there'll be computer musicians and it'll just become so commonplace that, you know, it's not necessarily pointing a figure. It's like, you know, this is how music exists. You're influenced by something and you build upon that idea. It's like everyone builds upon something. Is this what music has to come to? Has our culture become so advanced that this type of music will soon no longer exist and everything will be generated with computer software? Only time will tell.
Around, but it's cool that we can set it. Alright, so now if it's like. It's a different building, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like this is like solid, like compared to that, that's just like drywall. They probably heard that over there. <laughs> it was a loud knock. It's funny when I go back and like look at this stuff. Some of the stuff I'm like, what was I thinking? Like last year when I was like doing this, I was like, I knew like nothing about this stuff. Did and you I was really just, just like, buy this stuff and start messing around? Yeah, but it's just, uh, um, it's just so different. Just mixing wise, I knew absolutely nothing. And now it's just like a huge Do you difference. incorporate this into your band? Like, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, not like officially, not like, um, because a lot of times lately you see bands and they have like their computer up there with them. It's yeah. It's like a guy controlling it. It's tough with our style of music, I'd say, to like throw like, I something. I just saw Minus the like, Bear and they had. Oh, Minus the Bear is all over it. Minus the Bear uses electronic yeah. a lot. They use, they, they use, they use Ableton. Um, and I think they use MIDI synthesizers so you could just. Oh, there's a class on MIDI I thought about taking. Are you taking next semester? <laughs> I'm rethinking what I'm taking actually because right now I'm taking three online classes. Oh really? I'm taking one online class. And so I only have class one day a week. <laughs> What's your online class? Uh, taking marketing, music, and media. One of the writing intensives. A writing workshop. Some I honestly I don't even remember what they are. Doesn't fit. I, I made spice cake yesterday, and we made spice cake yesterday, and banana bread, and then a one little thing banana bread and like a cake couldn't fit in there together. I had to like put it up on like where the racks sit. It was just like sitting up there, like <laughs> floating the entire time. It was so funny. I was like, what? Is that what this is? Spice cake. Yeah, with Colleen's awesome icing. My name's Jack. <laughs> Thank you. 
like you want like yeah that that looks good and it's true we have a a couple of those at um riverview studios what studios yeah river bay riverview Riverview. yeah studio that our studio is inside of Do you ever do any actual work here? Here? Yeah. Not, no. Not lately. <laughs> Where do you do your work? <clears throat> no, I do. I do a lot of work. I sit out there at that table, the kitchen table. Ki- kitchen table because it's more of just where I throw all my stuff. Mm-hmm. It's behind the TV. I'm not sure, should I, if I should ask you what your name is? Because I'm just going to have a screen for it, so it's going to be like, Jeff's name is. So I'll just be like, hey, Jeff, like, blah, 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 ask you a question. You can answer it, and then you can kind of mess around, actually. We'll edit okay. it. We'll edit it. We'll make it look good. Nice. Did you sing into that? Yes, that's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, like, sing here, though? Yeah. Can you actually turn that lamp off right behind you There's right there? There's a huge thing yeah. right there. I just want to yeah. see how that looks. That might have something to do with all those pops I was hanging out of. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you know that was right? No, that's true. Um, You're a jerk. Throw this jig on. How did, um... Are you able to plug that lamp in? Mm-hmm. Just because it was like... You're being silhouetted by that lamp. <laughs> One of those like you look like God. Uh, doesn't want to be on TV. And they <laughs> voice. It's like we were listening to him last night, and I was like, Aaron Livingston, who I know, who used to come to the studio, who had a room underneath our studio in the other place, um, just put out a CD with RGT two. Neil Iceberg. Hmm. That's Aaron. Is yeah, he's the, <laughs> is he the keyboardist for Iceberg now? Uh, he might be. I don't know. Well, when I, I saw him, he was, playing, he was playing keyboard. Is he black? The singer is. Aaron. <laughs> well, <laughs> Aaron is black. RJD2 is not black. Yeah. It's not me. I'm not in the shot, right? No. Yeah. You're really worried about Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit, I really don't want to be on camera. Yeah, oh my god, I, book I got this new app the other day and it's like a fat cam. So you take a picture of yourself and it changes you to what you're like. Okay. Uh, okay. Now you're good. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it. It's gonna wing it. Pay attention. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good? Yeah, yep, you're good. Okay. Hey, Jeff. Um, so, how long have you been making all of this music on your computer? Uh, electronic music. Probably two years, not even that long, probably, but... Yeah, so you basically just bought all of this equipment and then just started messing around with it? Yeah, a a couple of my friends, like, not all of this is technically mine, Mm -hmm. Um, like, these monitors and stuff aren't mine, but um, my friends were like, hey, you can just have these, and if we ever need them, then we'll take them from you, so... um, (laughs) But these, all this stuff's mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. All that stuff up there. But um. So what is this called? Like. <laughs> this is my studio setup mm-hmm. for in here for this home studio. This powers everything. This um allows audio in and out, and these allow you to listen to things. Um, I've heard of those before. Speakers. The computer basically houses everything that I do it's like I get really nervous about my computer sometimes because if anything is screwed up it's like that has everything on it like yeah. none of this does anything without that so um what kind of what are the programs that you use to generate music um I use Ableton Live and Reason and 
I use Pro Tools to mix everything mm -hmm. and a bunch of native instruments, plugins and instruments and stuff like that. So, so you record instruments too and incorporate them? Sometimes. I mean, there can be voices on stuff and then you can like morph it and make it Yeah, you cool. recorded your voice yeah. last year. That's Dan. <laughs> that was funny. Um, well, so do each, does each program work individually or are you able to like sync all of them together? Actually, you are able to sync all of them together with the new Ableton. You can... Is this a new program, Ableton? No, uh, Ableton Live, this is Ableton Live 8. So there's been like a ton of versions of it, but um, on this new one you can... Well, you can do it on the others too, but um, you do it in a little different way. Uh, you can sync Reason, and you can put all of this, throw all of this into Pro Tools at the same time, so I can like mix it kind of live as mm -hmm. it's all coming in. So the music that's generated on the computer, like mm -hmm. how do you actually create it if it's not recorded by an instrument? This, uh, it's all MIDI sequencing, or loops, or pretty much. Uh, yeah, give any, some type um, of example. If basically the way Ableton is set up is a MIDI program. It's set up as a MIDI kind of home base. And other things like this, this set of pads over here, the keyboard and random pedals that are around here control this program. The pro these don't do anything by themselves yeah. and they're just like aids to this. Like what these do are send a signal into the computer and then the computer sends that signal out as an instrument mm -hmm. so like it's this is just a number and it's like if you set the instrument in there to the same number it's going to make it sound like but i mean you can send it so lots of different things too like is that so is that machine like always each button is set to something different but it's, it's always set, the same? Usually the way they're set, they can be set a different way. Um, one of two ways that I know. Um, either by note names like A through G mm -hmm. or <laughs> yeah A through, a through G, G. <laughs> um, and their sharps and flats and stuff and then that's spread out through a whole keyboard. So you have like A1, A2, A3, 